Namaste children. How are you all? I hope you are fine. In the last classes we have discussed about uh, the arithmetic progressions, general term of arithmetic progression, standard form of arithmetic progression, sum of n terms of arithmetic progression and its applications. Now in this class we are going to discuss about uh, a new chapter named as uh, polynomials. So this is new in the 10th standard but uh, it is uh, Already we have discussed about these polynomials and a few topics related to polynomials in 8th standard, even in the 9th standard. In 8th standard we have studied what are polynomials, types of polynomials, degree of a polynomial, classification of polynomials based on the degree of the polynomial, value of a polynomial, then zeros of a polynomial we have studied, then after that remainder's theorem, factor's theorem, factorization, after that uh, algebraic identities and their uh, applications we have studied in the 9th standard. Now here we are going to revise uh, those topics, uh, a few topics like uh, what are polynomials, what are non-polynomials and what is the degree of the polynomial, based on the degree of the polynomial how many types of polynomials are there and then their standard form, their standard form and uh, zeros of those polynomials, value of those polynomials after that we will study about uh, the geometrical meaning of geometrical meaning of zero of a polynomial that we will study for a linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial. Geometrical meaning is nothing but the number of zeros of a cubic uh, or, or a quadratic or a linear a polynomial. So now in detail we will discuss what is a, a polynomial, poly, the word poly, the word poly means what many. Poly means many. So you have come across the word in chemistry, polymers. In mathematics, polygons. In geometry, polygons, polygonia, polygons, polymers. And here it is, uh, polynomials. Poly means many. Nomials means it is uh, terms, generally. An, an algebraic expression. Polynomial is nothing but an algebraic expression which contains one or more than one term. An algebraic expression which contains one or more than one term is known as a polynomial. So in this 10th class we will study polynomials in one variable. Even in the 9th standard also we have studied polynomials in one variable. So what is the, is all or all or uh, uh, it is uh, algebraic expressions are polynomials? Yes or no? No. All algebraic expressions are not polynomials but all polynomials are uh, Al algebraic expression. See for example, x is an algebraic expression, x plus 2 is an algebraic expression, x is a, these two are polynomials, these two are polynomials and they are also algebraic expressions. Now it is a, x to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 or square root of x minus 1. So these are algebraic expression, these two are algebraic expressions but they are not uh, polynomials, non-polynomials. Why they are non-polynomials? We will discuss here. So this, all these are algebraic expressions. All these are algebraic expressions but uh, these two are polynomials in one variable and these two are non-polynomials. See what are polynomials in general? An algebraic expression in which, in which the exponent of the variable or the power of the variable is always a whole number. The power of the variable is always a whole number. What is the power? Here it is 1. It is a whole number. Here it is 1. Whole number. x square plus 3x plus 2. Here 2. Whole number. 3x for 1. Whole number. 2 in means it is 2 into 1 we can write. That is a 2 into x power 0. So 0 is also a whole number. So that's why these algebraic expressions are known as polynomials. And here these are not polynomials. Why? Because here the exponent is 1 by 2 which is not a whole number and similarly here root x minus 1 root x means it is a x to the power of 1 by 2 minus x again this is also a fraction which is not a whole number the exponent is not a whole number hence it, these are non polynomials and these are polynomials now x square plus 3y this is also a polynomial but it is a polynomial in two variables x is one variable and y is another variable so we will study in the 10th standard only 
polynomials in one variable polynomials in one variable so this is uh, x x plus 2 x square plus 3 x square plus 2x uh, plus 4 then x cube minus 3x uh, minus 2 all these are polynomials and these three are non polynomials as the as the power or the exponent of variable is not a whole number so that is the difference between a algebraic expression and a polynomial so poly means many one or more than one terms they should contain those so such algebraic expressions are known as polynomials now here the exponent of this variable is what 2 here the exponent is uh, it is 2 here it is 1 and here it is 3 here it is what the exponent of this variable it is 1 and here it is 1 so now what is the degree of a polynomial degree of a polynomial degree of a polynomial so degree of a polynomial is nothing but the highest power of the exponent the highest power of the exponent of a polynomial is known as degree of the polynomial that is the highest power highest power or it is what we can call it as the maximum power is known as degree of the polynomial for example if you take x x is a polynomial what is the exponent of this polynomial it is variable it is 1 therefore its degree is what 1 its degree is 1 now x square plus 2 x square plus 2 here the x square 2 is their highest power therefore its degree is 2 now x square plus x plus 3x 3x cube plus 3x cube here the power is 2 here the power is 1 and here the power is 3 which is the highest power it is 3 therefore its degree is 3 now 4x to the power of 4 plus 7x cube plus 3 so which is the highest power here it is 4 therefore its degree is 4 so degree of a polynomial is nothing but the highest power of the variable of a polynomial is known as degree of the polynomial so based on the degree of the polynomials polynomials are classified as it is a linear polynomial linear polynomial what is a linear polynomial we'll study here linear polynomial then quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial then the third one will study few no, a few types or few classification polynomial then cubic polynomial cubic polynomial already you have come across uh, their definitions and examples uh, for this linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial linear polynomial linear polynomial linear polynomial means uh, a polynomial with a degree 1 a polynomial with degree 1 is called a linear polynomial a linear polynomial then what is quadratic polynomial quadratic means quadrate in greek it is called quadrate quadrate means square that is power 2 that's why it is quadratic polynomial means degree 2 so a polynomial with a degree 2 is known as a quadratic polynomial a polynomial with a degree 2 is known as a quadratic polynomial then cubic cubic means 3 a polynomial with a degree 3 is known as a polynomial with a degree 3 is known as a cubic polynomial cubic polynomial so here are some of the examples of linear polynomial x comma x plus 2 comma then it is a, a x minus 2 then 7 minus x all these are what linear polynomials as their degree is 1 that's why these polynomials are known as linear polynomials x square x square plus 3x x square plus 3x plus 4 all these are what quadratic polynomials quadratic polynomials then cubic polynomials x cube 3x cube plus 7x 4 y to the power of 3 or y cube plus 7y these are the examples of what uh, cubic polynomials now we will study about this linear polynomials cubic polynomials uh, and quadratic polynomials their standard form that is their general form and uh, how to find the value of a polynomial how to find the zeros of a polynomial we will discuss uh, now now it is uh, so what are, what are linear polynomials linear polynomials are nothing but polynomials with the degree 1 are known as 
linear polynomials. Quadratic polynomials. Quadratic polynomials are the polynomials with the degree 2. Then cubic polynomials. Cubic polynomials are the polynomials with the degree 3. So examples we have discussed. Now we will discuss the standard form of the linear polynomial, standard form of the cubic polynomial and quadratic polynomial we will study. So the standard form of a linear polynomial is ax plus b. ax plus b is the standard form of a linear polynomial. So then what is the standard form of a quadratic polynomial? Standard form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. So linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. So what is its standard form? The standard form of a linear polynomial is ax plus b ax plus b where a is not equals to 0 if a is equals to 0 then what will become 0 into x is equals to 0 0 plus b will get so if b means what if it is 0 0 plus b will get b means it is what b x to the power of 0 so the power is here it is 0 hence if a is equal to 0 then that will not become a linear polynomial so the general form of a linear polynomial is ax plus b where a is not equals to 0. Similarly, quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial, its standard form or general form is ax square plus bx plus c. ax square plus bx plus c where again a is not equals to 0 a is not equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, this term will become 0. Then it will become finally bx plus c whose degree is 1. So it will become what? A linear polynomial, not a quadratic polynomial if a is equal to 0. Then cubic polynomial. What is cubic polynomial? We have studied and its general form or standard form. Cubic polynomial, it is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and where a is not equals to 0. Again if a is equals to 0, 0 into x cube is equal to 0, it will become 0. Then bx square plus cx plus d will get them, whose highest power is 2. Therefore it will become a quadratic polynomial not a cubic polynomial. So cubic polynomial means whose degree should be 3, whose degree is 3. Now here what is A? A is a x coefficient, B is the constant. Here A, B, C we have. A is a x square coefficient, B is x coefficient and C is the constant. In AX cube plus BX square plus CX plus D where A is not equals to 0, in that A is a x cube coefficient, B is x square coefficient, C is x coefficient and D is the constant term. D is the constant term. So this is the general form of a linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial. Now how to find the value of a polynomial? Value of a polynomial. How do you find the value of a polynomial? We have studied in the even in the 8th standard also. Value of a polynomial. Then we will study 0 of a polynomial. So value of a polynomial for a given value of the variable. So let p of x is equals to x plus 2. p of x is equals to x plus 2. If, if x is equals to 2 means in the place of x if you substitute then what we get is p of 2. This p of 2 is nothing but value of polynomial p of x under the variable x that is equals to substitute x is equals to 2 in the place of x that is 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 therefore p of 2 is equals to what it is 4 p of 2 is equals to 4 p of 2 is equals to 4 this 4 represents what value of the polynomial p of x at x is equals to 2 at x is equals to 2 if x is equals to minus 2 if x is equals to minus 2 then what it will become if x sorry if x is equals to minus 2 then what it will become p of minus 2 that is equals to minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 what we got 0 therefore p of minus 2 is equals to 0 here 0 is nothing but this result 0 is nothing but 
the value of the given p of x polynomial when x is equals to minus 2 when x is equals to plus 2 its value is 4 when x is equals to minus 2 its value is 0 so sometimes we will get a 0 as the value sometimes we may not get the 0 as the value like this we will find the value of a polynomial so how do we find the value of a polynomial by substituting the value of the variable in the place of variable in the given polynomial and on simplification we get the value of p of polynomial so similarly if x is equals to k if x is equals to k then what we get uh, for this polynomial if f, x is equals to k then what we get is p of k is equals to so x is equals to k therefore it is k plus 2 so this is the value of uh, the given given polynomial p of x when x is equals to k so this is known as value of a polynomial now what is zero of a polynomial if you observe here three values you found for the uh, same polynomial p of x is equals to x plus 2 at x is equals to 2 we got 4 at x is equals to minus 2 we got 0 and at uh, x is equals to k we got k plus 2 if you observe the second value when we substitute x is equals to minus 2 we got uh, 0 then minus 2 is known as 0 of the polynomial 0 of the polynomial x plus 2 why it is 0 of the polynomial because when we substitute x is equals to minus 2 in the given polynomial we got its value is 0 therefore x is equals to minus 2 now what we can conclude 0 of a polynomial the value of a variable that is the value of x or value of y or value of z the value of a variable for which the value of the polynomial becomes zero. The value of the value of the variable for which the value of the polynomial becomes zero when we substitute in the place of the variable, then such values are known as such values of the variable. See here, value of variable and value of polynomial. Values of variables are known as zeros of the polynomial. When we substitute in the place of that variable, the given value, then the total value, if we get is zero, then we call the substituted values are known as zeros of the polynomials. Zeros of the polynomial. So now we'll discuss how many zeros are there for a linear polynomial, how many what it is zeros are there for a quadratic polynomial, how many zeros are there for a cubic polynomial in the in this class so we have studied for linear polynomial how many zeros are there we have studied using what it is a factorization method or by transposing those things uh, those variables and constants to one set placing variables one set and constant the other side similarly quadratic polynomial also we have studied uh, that is uh, finding factors that is called factorization now here we are going to study factor that is uh, finding zeros of the polynomial and uh, of a quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial here in this 10th uh, uh, standard and also what it is division algorithm of cubic polynomial polynomials we will study here in the 10th standard now zero of a linear polynomial see here the standard form of linear polynomial is ax plus b how to find zeros of this polynomial how to find zeros of this polynomial so let p of x is equals to p of x is equals to ax plus b to find zeros of p of x to find zeros of p of x take p of x is equals to 0 take p of x is equals to 0 why we have to, we are taking p of x is equals to 0 because by substituting what value in the place of x so that the resultant value will be 0 Hence, we are taking p of x is equals to 0. That is, uh, ax plus b is equals to 0. So, transpose plus p to that side, we get uh, ax is equals to minus b. 0 minus b it is minus b. Then, x is equals to what it is? Transpose a to this side. ax means it is a into x. It divides. Uh, therefore, it is b by minus b by a. Minus b by a we got. Uh, so, minus b by a is the 0 of the polynomial ax plus b. Here, minus, what is b here? b is known as a constant term. b is known as constant term. And what is a? a is nothing but coefficient of x. Coefficient of x. So, coefficient of x. 
So there is a relationship between a zero of the linear polynomial with the coefficient of x and the constant term of that polynomial. That is a minus b by a is the zero of the polynomial a x plus b, which is a minus of constant term divided by coefficient of x squared. For example, for example, find zeros of the polynomial x plus two. Find zeros of the polynomial zero of the polynomial x plus two. Let P of x is equal to it is x plus two. Then P of x is equal to zero. That is equal to x plus two is equal to zero. That is by transposing plus two to the side, we we'll get what it is minus two. Therefore, x is equal to minus two. So this is a minus two is the zero of the polynomial x plus two. So here minus two is nothing but what it is minus two can be written as a minus of Minus two can be written as a minus two can be written as minus half or two divided by one, where minus two is nothing but what it is constant term. Two is nothing but what it is constant term divided by one is nothing but what it is a uh, here one. What is the coefficient of x in x plus two? It is one. So one is nothing but what it is coefficient of x. Coefficient of x. So, like this, we can establish a relationship between the zero and the, uh, the coefficient of uh, variable in the for the linear polynomial coefficient of x as well as the constant term of the linear polynomial. Similarly, like this, we can establish a relationship between the zeros of, and the coefficients of the quadratic polynomial as well as uh, the cubic polynomial. So, this uh, minus b by a is the zero of the polynomial a x plus b. Minus two is the zero of the polynomial x plus two. X plus two. How many zeros we got? Only one zero. So from this, what we can conclude for a linear equation, sorry, for a linear polynomial, at most we will have only one zero. At most, only one zero. Now, geometrical meaning of the zero of a polynomial. So here we will discuss uh, first for linear polynomial. Geometrical meaning means what? Uh, Graphical representation. This is algebraic representation. Algebraic method to find zero of the linear polynomial. Now here we are going to discuss uh, that is uh, geometrical meaning of the zero of a linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. <laughs> geometrical means it is nothing but graphical. Graphical means graphical representation of the zero of the linear polynomial. So we we'll discuss with an example. We have come across this in the ninth standard. That is. Uh, Drawing or constructing graphs for the linear equations in two variables. So let p of x is equals to. We are. I am taking one example. X plus two. P of x is equals to x plus two. Let p of x is equals to x plus two. How do we find its zeros by using the algebraic method? We have done here. We got minus two. We got that minus two is nothing but the zero of the polynomial x plus x plus two. <coughs> So convert this into what linear equation in two variables. For that, what we will, what we will take uh, y is equals to x plus two. Y is equals to x plus two. Here, what is y? Y is nothing but what p of x. Sir. P of x is nothing but what it is y. We are writing in the uh, polynomial in two variables. That is, x is one variable and y is one variable. So. To draw the graph, first we have to write its order pairs. How to write the order pairs? We have come across in the we have come across even in the eighth standard as well as in the ninth standard. So you take at least two values for this. Two values you take and represent this in the form of a graph. So a simple way, simple technique, a simple method. Let it is x and it is y. So here. Y. If x is equal to zero, if I put x is equal to zero, then zero plus two on simplification, what we get two. Therefore, y is equal to two. Y is equal to two. Similarly, if I keep x is equal to minus two, x is equal to minus two. X is equal to minus two means minus two plus two. It is zero. We get. Therefore, the order pairs of uh, this equation it is zero uh, comma two, and it is. Minus two comma zero. Minus two comma zero. Now, how to draw the graph of this uh, linear polynomial? So, draw two quadrant, two quadratic. That is a two coordinate axis, x-axis and y-axis. 
on x axis uh, take the scale proper scale x axis and y axis as 0 comma 2 minus 2 comma 0 small values are there so take the uh, scale as 1 unit is equals to 1 centimeter and this will count as what 0 1 2 3 and this is minus 1 minus 2 and it is minus 3 on y axis 1 2 3 this is y axis and it is x axis minus 1 and it is minus 2 now x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 this is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 this is the point so 0 comma 2 now x is equal to minus 2 y is equal to 0 this is the point uh, minus 2 comma 0 so join these two points uh, we will get a straight line we will get a straight line so that straight line will give you what uh, graphical representation of uh, x plus 2 y is equal to x plus 2 so that is uh, this will give you y is equal to x plus 2 this graph uh, that is uh, what is the nature of the graph of a linear polynomial we will get always a straight line this straight line is intersecting the x axis uh, x axis at minus 2 comma 0 so this is called point of intersection of the graph of the linear polynomial with x axis and what is its coordinate it is minus 2 what is its coordinate the coordinate of that intersecting point it is minus 2 what we got is 0 of the same polynomial by algebraic method it is minus 2 so from this what we can conclude the geometrical meaning of the 0 of a linear polynomial or any polynomial the x coordinate of point of intersection of the graph of a polynomial with x axis with x axis that x coordinate is known as geometrical meaning that is zero of the polynomial in the graphic graphical representation so we have studied for linear linear polynomial it intersects the x axis at most one point that's why linear equation will have only one zero at most what about quadratic polynomial geometrical meaning of this quadratic polynomial so this quadratic polynomial and a cubic polynomial the graphs if we don't have just we'll see the graph of a quadratic polynomial is a, a parabola curve will get a parabola curve will get that parabola curve or a bell shaped curve will get so the general form of a quadratic polynomial is a, it is a ax square plus bx plus c we have studied so its graph when we draw that is by taking some examples so this is called a quadratic polynomial and if you draw it will get different curves it intersects this shaped curve is known as what bell shaped curve or a parabola curve this is the nature of a graph of a quadratic polynomial what is its name it is parabola what is the name it is parabola curve or it is also known as bell shaped curve so this is this parabola curve is intersecting at two points it is intersecting at two points hence for a quadratic polynomial it will have two zeros at most this is one way the other way also if you draw like this we get two at two places it is intersecting here also we get like this at two places it is intersecting or if you draw one we may get just at one place it, in, it may intersect or it may intersect at one place so this point is known as zero of the polynomial so it has maximum two zeros of the polynomial two zeros of the polynomial and sometimes it may you may not find any zero of the polynomial like this you will get the quadratic polynomial means that graph will not intersect the x-axis what is zero geometrical meaning of zero of a polynomial the x coordinate of point of intersection of the graph of a polynomial which intersects the that is the intersecting point of x axis and the graph is known as zero of the polynomial so similarly if you take uh, for a cubic polynomial if you draw it for a cubic polynomial so again uh, that cubic polynomial will intersect the uh, x axis at three places uh, at most why because its degree is 3 and it will have it, its uh, uh, zeros are 3 uh, three zeros will get and 3 factors will be there for the cubic polynomial so the general form of a cubic polynomial it is uh, ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d here what is the highest power it is 3 
highest for is 3. So, how many zeros will be there? 3 zeros at most. 3 zeros at most. Here, 2 zeros at most. For a linear polynomial, only 1 zero at most. If you draw the graph of a, a cubic polynomial, it may, uh, it may get like this. That means it is intersecting the at 3 places. At 3 places. So, these how many points at how many points of uh, that is uh, intersecting points is there for the graph as well as the what it is x axis that number will give you number of zeros of the given quadratic polynomial or cubic polynomial or linear polynomial or any other polynomial. So, what is the use of this geometrical, geometrical uh, uh, meaning of uh, what is the uh, necessity of knowing this geometrical meaning of uh, zero of a polynomial means if you know we can identify how many zeros are there it is equals to what the number of intersecting points of the graph with the x axis if three points are there intersecting points then it will have three zeros only one point is there intersecting point only one zero at three four, four point at four places it is intersecting then how many zeros will be there four zeros so using uh, that graphs uh, when uh, and, uh, you are given some graphs and you need to identify the uh, how many zeros are there uh, for the given polynomials for example you see here this is uh, now how many polynomials are how sorry how many zeros are there for this here it is one two three three zeros are there three uh, three intersecting points are there therefore three zeros are there now how many points are there like this if you see here one two 3, 4. So, how many zeros are there here? 4 zeros are there. And here, 3 zeros are there. And then, here, how many zeros are there? And here, it is, uh, how many zeros is there? It is intersecting. That means, it is coinciding at only one point. Therefore, it is only one zero is there. Now, here, how many zeros are there? This is x-axis and this is the graph. How many zeros are there? This graph is not intersecting anywhere on the x-axis. Therefore, here, no zeros or no zero for this graph there is no zero here four zeros and here three zeros like this we will identify the number of zeros of a given polynomial whose graph is given and what i can conclude for a linear polynomial how many zeros is there at most only one zero is there for a quadratic polynomial at most how many zeros will be there two zeros and for a cubic polynomial at most how many zeros are there Three zeros. From this, what we can conclude for any polynomial, for any polynomial p of x, for any polynomial p of x whose degree is whose degree is n, whose degree is n, then how many zeros will have n zeros at most? N zeros at most. At most means this maximum. For any polynomial with degree n will have n zeros at most. That is maximum number of zeros are n. So this from this what we have studied today it is uh, how to uh, what is the meaning of geometrical meaning of zero of a polynomial, relationship between the linear polynomial and its coefficients, and then how to identify the number of zeros from the given graph. Did you understand, children? Yes? Right. Now your homework is a 2.1 exercise. Your homework, homework it is what is your homework it is a exercise 2.1. This is your homework. Please complete your homework. Homework. So what is your homework it is? Exercise number 2.1. Some graphs are given. Identify the graphs. Uh, observe the graphs and identify the number of points of intersection with the x-axis. Then write the number of zeros. Thank you very much.